crunchy bread, and dark chocolate. Well, when I was a little tiny bitty kid, my favorite sandwich was the ice cream sandwich with chocolate and vanilla. And it mm, was wonderful. Sounds good. Mm. Pastor Mike Bickle is in the house. Great to have you here. How old are you, Hudson? Uh, wow. Like, like six or something. Oh. Six, six and a half. Good. Six or something. Why do you do this? Why do you do this? <laughs> um, months ago, I called him on stage spontaneously. You know, there's a couple thousand people in the congregation. And he said, he goes, once with a T, right. I was born with a D, born. Yes. Why do you do this for two years, ever since you said you were little when you were four? Do you know what an abortion is? Oh! I've been in seven prisons. But suddenly, I felt fear for the first time living in the United States of America. You have a president who wants prayer. And right. He, you have a president who wants to not kill babies. That's right. We have a president that wants to honor God. <laughs> right. He wants to even put the Bible back in the school. Uh, and what do we do? Right. We want to kill him. They're calling for him to be dead. Oh, my God. I can't believe this is happening. We're living right. in perilous times, yeah. the Bible says. <laughs> Are you kidding? The thing is, this is probably the only bottle that removes radiation yes. from the water. Yes. From your the, whole family needs From the groundwater. I am sending the, from, see that one you're holding right? See that one you're holding right there? See that one you're holding right there? That's yours. And then we're going to make sure your mom and dad and at your grandma and grandpa. And, yeah. <laughs> okay. You all get one of these. Seriously. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Everybody should have these. You old people. Everybody. It is, it is that very... Everybody should have these. There's not a bottle in the world that I know of that takes out radiation. No. No. And, yes. And, yes. No. No. We have to pay the bills to yes. stay on the air. Yes. And yes. It's insane. Yes. Yes. No. Oh. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this special message. Pray for our president. At 6.31 in the morning... By the way, there's your line. This is one of many. Here's what is normal, 
And all of a sudden, look at that. This is normal. Normal. Look, even here. Normal. Look at this. Look at this. Normal. This is normal. Normal. A vote dump. And then, boom, all of a sudden, I go from winning by a lot to losing a tight race. That's at 6.31 in the morning. Me Weldon. So how are you today, sir? I in a better. I couldn't stand it. And I'm going to tell you right now, I've been sitting in the audience and I'm watching this young lady talk, interview these people. And I said, I can't believe this. I'm 93 years old, Morgan. I had the first show in Dallas, Texas. In 1950, there was one TV set in every three blocks in the city of Dallas. We'd drive down the road, we'd see an antenna. Hey, it's got a TV there, look. And think about it today, Morgan, there's one in every room of every home. I've seen all this happen. When I saw you interview these people and the stars that were up here on the stage, I thought, what, what a future you've got. What a future you've got. Now, you grew up with me, grew up, you're only 12. I'm the last living character in the Yogi Bear show. There's a little duck named Yaki Doodle, and his best friend is Chopper, a great big bulldog. Fibber Fox is chasing him down the road, and you hear him holler, Help! Chopper! Chopper's here after me! And he says, Run, little feller! Gets in front of him. Chopper looks down and says, Yaki, now that you're safe, tell me, where is your mama? The little duck always looks up sad and he says, I don't have no mama. Would you be my mama? What's wrong with you? You got to have an honest assessment of who you are. Just keep your emotions in check. What's wrong with you? No one gets there by themselves. Everybody needs help. Just keep your emotions in check. You don't want none of this. You don't want none of this. You don't want this. You don't want this. That ain't what Steve want. Just keep your emotions in check. What's wrong with you? Everybody needs help. I need a damn break. There are times, actually, when I swear to God to you that you could just fly. It's so cool. It's, it's all the things that you've always wanted to cut loose and let loose and just fly that you never thought you could do, but it actually happens. Well, I want these people to crawl out of this place. I want them to be exhausted, and I want them to feel what I'm feeling. What are you feeling? Now, I haven't found a better word for it, so please excuse me for what I'm about to say. It's sex. It's just a thousand miles an hour. It's... I can see why you describe it as sex. Oh, it's... It is wonderful. It's very addictive, too. Yes. Uh... <laughs> So I'm just wearing the mask to show you that, by and large, you should wear a mask, but not when you're 10, 20 feet away from people. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God, there's no one within three blocks of me, but I can never be safe enough. Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Oh!
my kiss to go. We now give you an important bulletin. A little red pony has been lost from the storybook entitled Western Stories. Any person seeing this lost pony, report it immediately to this station or your local police. Mother, may I go out and play now? It's, it's my invention, and on the 15th of April, it'll be released in Germany, and we're hoping by by the fall, it'll be in all the European countries. And you told me to stick it in your pocket, make sure it don't melt, and it didn't melt. And it's the only one of its kind in the world, and this is how it looks. Isn't that cute? Isn't that nice? It's called a checker bar. It's called a checker bar. Isn't that cute? You can play with it. It sure smells good. On the count of three, you're going to have the most intense, most amazing orgasm of your life. It's going to be real. It's going to be intense. It's going to be visit. It's going to raise the bar. And for the rest of your life, all your orgasms will be better permanently. One, two, three, now. Uh, uh, and the rape ups. Tickles everywhere. Uh, the tickle stop. Tickles everywhere. Ah! <laughs> Orgasm now. Oh I'm touch stronger. Orgasm now. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and wake up soon. Oh, you just nutted in your pants, dude! <laughs> you just nutted in your pants, bro! <laughs> 20 times deeper. 30 times deeper. Orgasm now. Ten times stronger. Again and again and again. Multiple orgasms over and 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 over. Wake up. It's Enya Morricone. Yeah. Accepting for Enya Morricone is the director of The Hateful Eight, Quentin Tarantino. This is Ennio Morricone's third win and eighth nomination. Wow, cool. This is really cool. Wow. Do you realize that this is really cool? Ennio Morricone is my favorite composer. And when I say favorite composer, I don't mean movie composer. That ghetto. Please wrap it up, I will. As far as I am concerned, Ennio Morricone is my favorite composer. The great Ennio Morricone at 87 years of age has never won an award for any one individual movie that he's done. He has an Italy, that ghetto.
but not in America. And this is, I know, not America. It's the uh, Hollywood Foreign Press Association. For Edio and his wife, I say thank you and grazie. 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 Ghetto. 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 I hate politics. Paul is like, don't you dare. I'm going to dare. I hate, I have said a thousand times in the show, politics and me, no good. I hate politics. Trump's lawyers made some pretty extreme claims yesterday that were then submitted to the court, so we're gonna show you some video on that. But if you don't hear about any of that, and then it starts going through the system, and then it's two weeks from now, and suddenly everyone's like, whoa, maybe something really did happen, well then you're gonna be set up to, to have a nervous breakdown, and I think half the country is, is heading in that direction, in case half the country's not having a nervous breakdown now. So that's what we're gonna be covering today. I, I am ready to roll. Like, I'm ready for the revolution, I really am. Like, if this is what, these motherfuckers are gonna do. Like, I'm, I'm here for it. Like, I am not going to be your bitch, Eric Garcetti. You have no right to lock me into my house and I'm gonna live my life as I see fit. Uh, but before we get to all that, let's talk about Glint Pay, guys. I've been telling you guys about Glint Pay and if you don't know, the world is in a very precarious spot. One of the things that's lasted for a long time that people have cared about for a long time, well, that's gold. And using your Glint Pay card, you can not only buy and sell gold, but you can use your card. Donald Trump, yeah, Donald Trump. I love Donald Trump, but he's the best since Ronald Reagan. Donald Trump is an even better president than Ronald Reagan. Donald Trump may be the greatest of all time, greatest of all time. Donald John President. So you You're have a damn liar, man. That's not true. And no one has ever said that. No one has proved that. I no. see it on the TV. You see it on the TV. I no, I know you do. And by the way, that's why I, I'm not sedentary. I, don't, I get up and, and look, the reason I'm running is because I've been around a long time and I know more than most people know. Look, uh, look, here's the deal. I can get things done. That's why I'm running. If you want to check my shirt, man, let's do push-ups together here, man. Let's do, let's run. Let's do whatever you want to do. Let's take an IQ test. I get your words straight, Jack. Any other questions? I get up at 2 o'clock in the morning to go to work, yeah. and sometimes I forget my bra and panty. My question to you is, with your busy schedule, have you ever left the house and forgot? Oh, no, hell no! So you know how people are always doing something to make a couple extra bucks? Mm -hmm. But did you hear about the guy who was willing to sell his testicles for $35,000? He was willing to sell his testicle for $35,000. I know cash is king, but there has got to be a limit, right? Right? Right. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey. Anytime we try to get intimate, whether it's kissing, holding hands, or on the couch, our dog, no matter where she is in her house, she comes and finds us. Oftentimes, she bites my husband's head. This head. <laughs> this head. This head. This dog, she, whatever we do, she gets in the middle of us. If I try to and even grab a little smooch. Oh, hell no. All you hear is your and that's not, that's not coming from us, that's coming from the dog. Hi, Steve. Steve? Uh-huh. It's a cookie duster. It's a cookie duster. It's a cookie duster. We call them cookie dusters. It's a cookie duster. <laughs> Can I touch it? Can you touch it? Can I touch it? Can you touch it? Can I touch it? Hell no! Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! So dark. 
phone call. I'm going to let Scott and Larry finish that. Larry's going to talk about the accounting call. Mr. So I'll be, uh, I'll be back. I will see you tomorrow. Mr. Have President, day. just one more question on Brianna Taylor. We're at a time right now where Americans feel caller? like we are on Say this it. carousel. I have a, a Mr. President, question on Brianna Taylor. One more question if I can on Brianna Taylor. People are protesting in the streets. What is the message to that? People feel like we are on this carousel where another black life is being So here we have Dr. Scott Atlas encourage you all to be respectful and show a little bit of decorum here. Would you be my mama?